Hey everybody, Danielle here. It is panini time and wanted to show you how you can use your deluxe grill and griddle to make the most amazing homemade grilled sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, grill onto panini. So I'm just gonna turn the dial like this. It automatically comes up with a preset temperature on the panini setting at 375 degrees and it comes with a preset time of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I can adjust the time if I want it more or less. I'm good with that time for my sandwich. So I'm just going to hit the button and now it's going to preheat. I've already preheated it before I came on because I didn't want you guys to have to watch the grill preheating. It takes about four minutes to preheat. And then what it's going to do is it's going to beep three times at you, which you heard, and it's going to change here and it's going to say add. So this tells me I need to now add my food. So I'm going to open that guy up. I don't grease this at all. Okay, there's no, and there's no oil or there's no butter on my bread. So here's my sandwich and I have um, pork roast from last night and there's some cheese and lettuce. So you can see how it's not flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to release the hinge like this and now it will go nice and flat onto my sandwich. Once it's ready to go, I click the button and now it goes into countdown mode. So my sandwich is going to be ready in two minutes and 24 seconds. So the cool thing about making grilled sandwiches is you can do just about anything. So it is a great way to use up your leftovers in your kitchen. So as I said, this one is we had leftover uh, pork chops from last night. So I sliced that up. There's a little bit of Havarti cheese. I added a little onion, some tomato, uh, lettuce, a little bit of mayo and some honey mustard. But the options are endless. Think about taco night. Oh my gosh, you can make like those crunch wraps in here. You can do amazing burritos that are nice and grilled and crispy on the outside. You can do your subs. We've been playing with sub buns as well. Just fill your subs and then just grill them. Um, you can do grilled cheese. Grilled cheese takes a little bit longer. It takes about five minutes and you're gonna butter the outside of your bread like you normally would but you get the most amazing ooey gooey grilled cheese sandwiches. And just like all of our other electrics, you do get the cooking guide, okay? Which is going to help you with times and temperatures. There's also amazing recipes in here. There is at the beginning a sandwich page which gives you some different panini and sandwich ideas. Like there's a turkey and Havarti. There's a caprese pesto. I really want to try that one. Um, there's an Italian sub, a ham and cheese panini, a chicken burrito. So there's so many different options um, that you can do with this. And I have to tell you, these right here, it's not a sandwich, but I have to tell you anyways, the mushroom and ricotta um, toasts, oh, we had this, they're so good. So good, and even if you roast some tomatoes, if you're not a mushroom fan, because Dwayne's not a fan of mushrooms, you can roast some tomatoes with a little bit of garlic and add the tomatoes on top instead of the mushrooms, and oh my gosh, it is delicious. So, um, this is the panini setting, and so in like 20 seconds, my sandwich is going to be done. I can't wait for you guys to see this. This is so great. And, you know, you can even make, like, if you wanted, like, a garlic sauce, you know, an aioli is just mayonnaise and some garlic. You can make that up, put it on your sandwiches. Like, you can have restaurant-quality sandwiches at home with this. Okay, are you ready to see this? Look at this. Oh, it's hot. I got my spatula underneath. There we go. Look at that, guys. Can you see those grill marks? Look at that, that's the bottom, that was the top. And there's the bottom. Oh, this looks so good. Look at that. Can you see the steam coming off that? I'm so excited. So that is the panini feature on the deluxe grill and griddle. So, have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you later.